So guys, my machine just got delivered like a few minutes ago and I'm super excited. Yo, no more kufua, no more, no more kufua. That's just me. And then this is how it's coming. Let's just see what it can do. I'll have to maybe read a manual or watch tutorials on YouTube uh -huh. on how to use it. It has this pipe. I'm guessing this is the inlet, the water inlet. Right? Let's check out what's in the other side. Okay, we have a karatasi. This should be the manual. How do you open this? Oh, here it's just this. Okay. I'm so excited. So excited. I'm just wondering where's the outlet. Yeah, this should be for compressing. Yep. Let's do this. Let's do this. Good morning. Okay, let's just tuck in this header better. Oh wow, I'm in love with this print. This is a new print on here, the Chronicles. I haven't even taken photos of it yet, so feel privileged that you're seeing this video before people see photos of this. Uh it's Sunday. Uh, yesterday what happened my moods were just terrible I just had bad mood so I didn't feel like doing anything uh, so I slept the whole day so today I need to upload the video and I'm trying as much as possible to be consistent then I thought let me just show you guys how I wash clothes yes so uh, some of you guys had seen my comment on Crystal Orisa's video and they were like Michelle you want a review of the machine so here we are, here we are. It's early in the morning, I need to take water and that vitamin C I was telling you guys about, so that's what I use this for. I'll just show you what that is. Uh, next time I go buy it, I'll show you. But I got it from Jamia Mall. It helps with sore throat, tonsils, all that. So this is what I use. I'll take like half a spoon. Ginger. Sometimes I usually get bored using the natural one, so I just use this. I'll first add in some cold water because I don't like drinking hot water. You're supposed to mix it with hot water, but I don't like hot water. So I mix. So instead of using hot water, then waiting for it to cool, I just mix. And this is what I have in the morning. The lighting is not the best. And I don't want to bring the ring light here. It's not that serious. You just want to go to a washing machine. <laughs> just in case someone wonders why I take this, I have a lot of allergies, sore throat, sneezing. I get that a lot, especially in the morning. So I take this to just boost my immunity and it works wonders. I also had a flu homa. Ni homa ama whatever. I had a running nose and my soap. I had tonsils. I still on antibiotics, but I take this, it just improves how my throat feels here. I'll just quickly go to Mika Appliances. Uh, that is the washing machine I have. It's a semi automatic one. It's not for Crystal Olisa putting up her video, so make sure you go check it out a bit to make sure I link it up here. Why it's not for her, I would never have known washing machines are affordable, accessible to normal human beings. I used to think those are things only rich people own. So after seeing her video, I started researching and then you also know how internet works. Like after you just watch one thing and then ads start popping and all that. And then that week, my mama Fua did come. So I had clothes for almost I don't know how long. And me, if you know me, me I can't wash clothes. Okay, I can, but I'll take forever and I'll wash to two. The first day I bought the machine, it used to be here. This is just outside the bathroom. And getting the water to drain here used to be such a hurdle. Uh, it always used to leak and come to my living room, which I absolutely hated. So this is where it was. Gosh, I'm about to arrange these shoes, don't judge me. That's why I put my 
dirty clothes i decided to take it here in the kitchen i've just finished washing and realized i didn't give you a story that's me editing that video so if you're watching it now i've just finished editing it i'm inserting this clip which i noticed was not there so i settled to bring the washing machine here because one it's closer to the socket outside it's closer to outside where i can drain the water tmi i'm enjoying this space because i think this is the last day this table is going to be here i'm about to remove that because my fridge came yesterday so if this is where my machine stays also convenient because it's directly opposite the sink I don't know if you can see all I uh, don't get distracted with the tokens of other people making noise. So I start washing my token is at 82.74. I'm making this because this is my house number. So I've decided to separate my clothes into two. These are the whites. So this is batch one. Don't ask me why this is here. And the other batch I'll wash it together. If it doesn't fit, I'll wash it in three. So this is how the back of the machine looks. And when you're done washing or when you're storing, you just store it like this. This is also how it comes delivered to you. This is how you store it. So when you want to use it, you just do this. Plug it onto your source of electricity. It's very light. You can carry it. It's not that heavy. This is the pipe that the machine comes with, but it's too short. Okay, sorry, it's too short, and this hole is too big for my tap. So what I used to leak out. So I just use this pipe to just channel water from the tap to inside the tub here. Yes. So. Uh, before I turn on the water, let me just show you how the this tub, this is one that's responsible for washing your clothes. Let me, I don't know what it's called, it has a name. This, it usually spins, so I'll just turn this and show you how it spins. You see? That's how it spins. Clockwise are that clockwise and that's how it spins. So let me just first of all turn that off. And then put in some water so just so that's the water going in so in case you forgot to turn this on the water will just start leaking out immediately and in order for it to like reach here uh, you will need around four or three and a half buckets of a normal bucket that is in detergent this is what i use this is almost over uh, I have like one or two washes left. I think this was 700 and something or 600 and something. Kafo, no, I'm not sure. Uh, the other day I was at Kafo and they had an offer. This was I think, I think it was 1900 or 1800. And it's so big so like if I buy these ones, I won't need to buy any more detergent for almost a whole year. Don't judge me, Aki, don't judge me please. Uh, but this, this is what I sometimes use there's a day i didn't have that detergent the machine wash and i ended up using this aerial so it just works as efficiently but this one towards more of it lathers more compared to the other one if you have a big family and you're looking for a detergent that's economical or you do a lot of washes get the toss machine wash ilia bucket it's way more cheaper that's the one that mama dio uses so what happens is I wouldn't recommend to put it at medium because when you put in your clothes it soaks in the it soaks the water. So just put it somewhere higher so that by the time it's the, your clothes have soaked your water, it's there now. Okay, 
keep it as solidified in there. I don't know if it's because of humidity. So I want to get that out. Next I'm just going to I'm just going to spin it for like three minutes just so that the water can lather. So I don't think that lathering is good enough for me, so I want to add some more. These are my sheets, my bed sheets. I've had a running nose this week, I've said that, so I needed to and I, I changed my sheets a lot because yeah i felt like they were stuffy uh next i made sure i had a pair of jeans and basically a sweater so that i show you how it dries and how it cleans okay this is also a duvet cover once i in i'm just going to select I'm going to select like 12 because these are white clothes and I want them to be well washed. And yeah, now I just wait. Uh, as you wait for that, I can tell you about this other side, right? This is the air dry. Sorry, there are a bit of detergent on top, but this is the air dry. Uh, this is what to use to dry your clothes. I had spinned some clothes here initially so that you can see it sweat. Uh, this one, you press on top of the clothes. I'll show you later on. Uh, the good thing about this machine is you can wash and you can dry your clothes at the same time. Uh, but make sure you cover this up. Drying, you just turn this to whatever amount you want. So you can hear it's starting to spin. I don't know if you can hear it. Now the good thing about this is, in case you have a child, the moment he or she opens it up like this, it stops spinning. When you when you close it continues to spin when you open it stops spinning so there are people who prefer ringing before putting it here but me or girl i'm too lazy so i just put it the way it is you overload this it won't spin it akataku spin so i'd recommend that you just put a substantially good amount of clothes ensure there's a little bit of space left and then you make sure you close it with this if you don't close it with this the clothes will enter in here and it will be such a struggle for you getting them out and also they won't dry I just want to spin this for up to three because I'm still going to rinse them so I just want to spin dry them kidogo when you open it stops working you see when you close it continues working so as this continues to spin dry I'm going to put the rest in these are the heavy ones and because they are heavy heavy stuff I'm spinning it for 15 minutes and once I get them out and I feel like they are not clean enough I'm going to spin them again well that water doesn't look so good but don't worry I wanted to show you guys how in case the water is too little you see how the machine is struggling to spin so I'm just going to add more water has completed spinning I want to show you guys how it looks so you're just going to remove this and this is how the bed sheet looks you can see okay no you can see but it's not wet So I'm just going to turn this to drain and you'll see the water will start draining, you see? I'll remove that thing so that the water can get into the fumoil. Instead of it flooding the balcony, I usually do this. You can see the water is draining. And then I can just put them here and then just ring or spin this so that they are dry and then you 
spin this. I also just spin this. So when it spins and makes that sound, you know that you've not put in enough clothes. Do you hear that sound? That sound, the clothes are not going to get dry. So we'll just do that, add more clothes, just so that it can function well. Don't forget to put it. So that's how it's supposed to spin for it to dry the clothes well. You can hear there's a difference between this sound being made now and the sound that was being made before. Now sometimes it may shake like this. I don't know if you can see the shaking. Can you see the shaking? The noise it makes when spinning is bearable if you ask me. When it's spinning or air drying, you also need to ensure the pipe is down just so that it can remove the water. Don't air dry when the pipe is still hung here, okay? If you're still spinning and you notice no water is coming out of this drainer, it means that the clothes are completely dry. Because the clothes are definitely dirty, you'll notice the machine is dirty after you remove the first batch. I like rinsing it like this with just water, just so that that dirt can't be transferred to the next cloth. I'll make sure the Wash hotel. This is on drain, so you're just draining out that water, and then now I can close the drain so that now I can put in water to rinse. You can rinse it once or twice, I don't know how many times you need to rinse it. You can put water in here and then you spin it and come and then and rinse them again in case the clothes were extra dirty. But if they're not so dirty, you can just put in your fabric softener at this point. This is the fabric softener I use. Uh, I use a little bit of it because again, I told you I have sinuses. So I can't really put a lot of strong scents. I'll be sneezing and these are bed sheets. So I don't sneeze a lot at night. So I just put a little. But in case you use a lot, like do you, boo boo, do you. You can also use this trick when using detergent. Put in the detergent and then add the water. So that when the water is coming in, it's mixing on its own. So next I'm just going to put this here. I'm just going to put the sheet back so that they can now spin. Now because it's just spinning the sheets, I like to spin it for six minutes, seven, eight water is now more clear it's clean so I'll just let it spin and then I air dry it and then I can hang now the clothes so the clothes as you can see they're already dry I just need to hang them for like 30 minutes if it's windy and sunny and they are completely dry even the heavy ones this is the heavy duvet cover this is the heavy duvet cover and you can see it's completely it's like 90% dry. This is my bathrobe. It's also quite heavy and you can see it's dry. This is how a sweater looks before. You can see it's a heavy sweater. And I just want to show you how it looks once so you spin it. A pair of jeans. So the last batch of clothes is I want to show you how it looks. This is a pair of jeans. You can see it's almost dry. If I hang it out for like an hour or two hours, it will be completely dry if it's not so sunny. This is how my sweater looks. Also dry. Like even if you, no matter how much you do this, there's no water coming out. I just want to put this out in the hanging line so that they can I want to hang my clothes out in the hanging line so that they can dry and then I'll come back and talk to you. I'm just going to use this thing that we usually use for washing our utensils and just scrub the inside of the machine like this so that you can get rid of these dirty lines because they mean the washing dirty clothes. So you just wash it well 
you can use some soap in case you want it's on drain make sure it's on drain so that it drains out the water and then you just do this to the sides and then scrub again or scrub it with the water as it comes in you're just going to remove this this is for the lint remove this and then just see it's collected some little just rinse it out so also run some running water in here so that this is also clean. Uh, take a piece of clothing or a towel or anything and then just wipe the machine dry. Ensure there's no trace of water. So I usually like starting from here at the top. Just wipe everything. So that next time you find it clean, so that the machine can serve you longer. Then don't forget to turn your drain to wash so that when you are putting in water next time it doesn't drain all the water. It will flood your house. And outside, just to ensure it's completely dry. Like that. Ensure the whole thing is dry. Uh, so I feel like the machine is quite affordable considering the price. Uh, it's serving me well. The more clothes you wash, the more water it's going to use. It doesn't, however, use a lot of electricity. The electricity it uses is so little. I'm about to insert here a clip of how much electricity it has used because I'm just about to go out and check. Uh, don't get distracted with the tokens of other people making noise. But before I start washing, my token is at 82.74. I'm making this because this is my house number. So this is how many I have after washing. It's 82.54. It doesn't use a lot of water. Uh, you definitely would use more when washing. When hand washing, I feel like you definitely use more because you have more bases and all that. So it definitely consume, consumes less water. So if you're in the lookout of a washing machine, I would recommend this or any other brand that your pocket can afford like just buy whatever you can afford I really did window shop and checked for where are they selling it cheap and all that I noticed it's better to order from the website because they're going to deliver it to your house but if you're willing to like carry if you have a car or you have someone who can carry it for you when you buy it from the distributors in town and everywhere they usually give, give it to you at a little bit cheaper price because you're going to carry it yourself so if that's something you're looking out for do that but in case you want the convenience of it being delivered to your house buy from the website the guy who delivered this machine that day had an attitude I don't know if this is TMI but it was a driver and a delivery guy so the delivery guy was nice the driver had an attitude but I still would recommend it because as you can see my cooker is also a Mika I didn't think at this point my whole kitchen is a Mika because also my, my fridge came yesterday and it's also Mika I'm about to like look for space after I finish recording this video I'm about to look for space for it so yeah I currently wash once a week or twice a week depending on the load I had washed some clothes yesterday night and then I just left the few so that I can show you how it works because I don't like washing too much because I only have buckets if you can only afford one that washes and doesn't dry go for it if you have a smaller family go for the 6 kg if you have a big family go for the 10 kg like just do that there are so many companies now that sell the semi-automatic machines uh there's one one is hot point right there's one there's bram there's mika there's ram toms there's like there's so many so check out their website compare the prices compare what looks good to you I think the only reason I picked this machine, let me be sincere, it's because of the color. Leave a comment in case you have this machine and tell me your thoughts on it and I will see you tomorrow. Give this video a big thumbs up if you're enjoying the consistency honey. If you are enjoying this, give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment. And I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!